What's up guys, welcome to Scrap Mechanic. Oh boy. Um, completely fresh start. Um, I actually know <laughs> what I've got to do, unbelievably, because I, um, well, I messed up the start. I uh, thought I recorded my uh, first playthrough. Turns out I didn't, went to edit the video, didn't have it. So, uh, <laughs> no idea how I managed that. But anyway, that's kind of cool. At least I'll be able to smash through this start bit now. And um, yeah, we're going to come back and sort this out. But I thought I'd go grab the battery first since it's uh, down this way. And we need it to power on the ship. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll collect all these pieces. And uh, so obviously Scrap Mechanic's been out a little while. The survival game mode just come out recently. And... Uh, that's why I'm on it. I love survival games. This is right up my street, and I love the creativity on it. And uh, my friend Max told me about this game, and he has been smashing it and building some crazy stuff. And yeah, I just couldn't wait anymore, so I've jumped onto it to kill this little dude. Circuit board. And um, yeah, when I first turned this on and I played through it on the session, I forgot to record. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I was saving everything, but I'm going to make a point of keeping everything because I don't know what I'm going to need. I know I'm going to need this bucket, though. So definitely pick that up. When I first played this, I couldn't work out how to pick stuff up like that because some stuff comes up like that saying right mouse button. Other things like that bucket didn't say anything, didn't tell me how to do it. And I just thought the bucket was part of the scenery, and then I found out I could pick it up. So, yeah. Uh, right mouse button on... Uh, collecting stuff basically and you can play this with a controller as well I believe but I'm playing with mouse and keyboard because I play everything with a mouse and keyboard get out of it dude thank you give me your stuff oh, cool and somewhere oh so you can refine these and it will give me some metal blocks hopefully instead of carrying around this big piece of junk Get this one as well. There we go. And that should be in my minute. There we go. Got 20 scrap metal blocks from them. It's pretty handy. Which is what you use to build stuff. Um, oh, what's this? Can't remember what was in this. Okay, it's just seeds. I think they're mushroom seeds, aren't they? Can I click on stuff? I can't remember how to see what things are. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, it shows me there. I don't know why it wasn't showing me a second ago. Yeah, so we've got some tomato seeds, we've got bearings, carrots, all this cool stuff. We'll look at that later when we need to use it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to repair the ship. This is the battery. So again, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you how to pick it up. You hold the right mouse button to collect it. And uh, we'll take that to the ship. That's going to power up the ship. It's going to power the things inside, including, uh, I think, the craft bot things in there. Is that the garage there? We'll have to go and explore that in a moment. But um, we need to find a garage, which is where we can really get stuck into building stuff and, um, you know, start building the base and that kind of stuff. I'm planning on just building my base at the garage when I find it, because I think that just makes sense. You know, everything's there already. You can get stuck into other stuff. And I've kind of already got a way I want to do it, even though I've never got that far and I've never really seen how stuff is built on this game, only briefly from what my mate showed me. And um, yeah, but I've got an idea of what I want to do around the garage once I find it. Obviously, depending on what the layout of it is when we get there. So I'm looking forward to finding that. Um, but I don't know how important the start ship is where we started, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix it. And, you know, if I need it later, then I can use it later. And you can shift click stuff to just transfer it quickly, by the way, if you didn't know. Okay, I think we've explored everything up here. Oh, yeah, I really love the look of this game something charming about it <laughs> I really do like it. it looks really nice and the music is great <laughs> I really like the music and you do get a little ra um, a little radio and you can stick radios on things which I didn't know I found out recently 
And that's pretty cool. You can drive around with your radio on. And uh, one of the first things you have to do is build a little buggy, a little car that you go around with, just a basic sort of car. And um, I like that. I like that straight away you're getting into building something um, and you get to fully build it however you want. There's no like prefab of it. You just get the parts and do what you want with it. And, um, you know, straight away they're giving you a way of exploring and kind of speeding up the gameplay in a way. Do you know what I mean? It's, I think that's good. I think um, a lot of games could do with that sometimes. Okay. So, um, obviously when we come in here, everything's on fire. That's where we need to put the battery. I think I'd pick this up. And um, I think that's the crafting terminal type deal. But we'll uh, need to power it up first. And, um, yeah, we need to put the fires out. So, i got one bucket. Let me just organise this a little bit. Okay, that'll do. We'll go get another bucket or two. Where is it? Over this way. So, amazingly, when I jumped in, I found this straight away. Walked straight past this bucket. But obviously, we'll pick it up this time. And I could see this sign. I was like, oh, what's that? And I ran over to it. And it's... Um, where you find out about how to farm, and there's a little farming area here. So, um, yeah, this caught my attention. I ran past that original bucket. And um, I wouldn't, I had no idea that I was going to use the bucket to, you know, put the fires out at the time. But now we know, so it's going to make this super easy. Uh, I think that was everything. Um, I won't grow anything yet, but what's that? Something's growling at me. Oh, you. Get lost. Get out of it. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'm not going to grow anything right now. Obviously, we will need to start growing stuff. But I didn't know that when you start growing stuff, that's what triggers the waves of mobs that come and attack you and creates that, um, you know, the PvE gameplay that's kind of prevalent through this game. And, um, yeah, I had no idea. So I would have got the shock of my life <laughs> when I started planting stuff and all of a sudden these mobs are attacking me. Um, so, yeah, that is one of the ways, or it might be the only way, I'm not sure. But uh, um, from what I've understood and been explained to me um, I think that was a sentence um, <laughs> the the uh, produce, the, the stuff you grow is, ah oh, damn it I didn't fill the water buckets up, god damn I was chatting away um, yeah the produce, the stuff you grow is the uh, currency in game and it's illegal which is why the bots um, attack you and why they hunt down your gardens and your um, you know your little farms so yeah, that's kind of like the story behind it. I don't know if there's like more story to the game or not. Like I said, I've never played it. It is kind of the first one I've played. Like I said, I've done what I'm doing now before and forgot to press record, annoyingly. Um, but like I said, it's kind of cool because I know what I'm doing now. But um, yeah, I don't know anything else other than that. So I have no idea if there's like a real story connected to the game or not. Um, I do know there's like some boss type things which you fight later, which is cool. Okay, there's one bucket down. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I'm putting out all the fires. I don't need to put out all the fires, you just need to put out the fires inside. Um, so yeah, I know there's like, at least one type of boss, which is these chi um, giant, god damn, English hard, giant um, like harvest machines, which I've not seen, I've just seen a picture of them. Um, as in, I've I've not seen them in game, like sort of up close. I've just seen a picture in game of them. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know what else there is. So it's going to be fun exploring. But mainly, of course, I'm really looking forward to just building stuff. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around the channel a little while, you probably know I like building things. And I get very distracted building things. And it. <laughs> it costs me a lot of time in other games. But I enjoy it. That's what I like to do. I'm not great at it. You know, I've got a lot of improvements to do. But I do enjoy building. Especially on survival games. Actually, probably my main attraction to survival games is the um, freedom of building. Like, the way you can build. It's really, really 
interesting to me. I enjoy it a lot. So yeah, if you are new to the channel, go check out my other stuff, of course. It's just survival gaming mainly, although I do play Star Citizen, which isn't a true survival game, although they have just introduced survival mechanics to it, and in the future it's going to be really good fun, that part of the game, including some sort of building works, you can be able to have base and stuff. That's for another time, but anyway, yeah, you might be interested in some other stuff, so go check it out if you are. Right, we've got the fire out inside and the first time I've done this I run around putting out all these fires and it makes no difference because the one that's really making all the noise that kind of annoys me a little bit is the one on the roof and you can't put it out or at least I couldn't so we're gonna leave the rest of them for now let's get the battery there it is so if I put it down here I think we just select it oh uh, place there we go There we go, it's on. What's this stuff? Okay, I'll pick that up. Cool. I have no idea what this stuff is, but I'll collect it. Um, anything else to collect? Oh, what's this? How do we fix this? What is it? Use? Can't use it. Hmm. Wonder if we can repair that. Some oil. Oh, a few shakes. Lovely. Upside down plant of some sort. Microwave. Well, okay, you can cook stuff in this, can we? I wonder what we can stick in there. Cool little mug. You know, you never know when you're going to want a decoration for a shelf, you know. I'll, I'll keep that. Anything in this? Nothing in there. Little radio. Get that on. And you can pick this calendar up, but I don't know what you do with it. I'm going to pick it up in case we find uh, the garage quickly. You now, I might want a calendar on my wall. Why wouldn't I? Right, okay. So, I think I've collected anything in here that we're going to need. Apart from the rubber duck. God damn, hello. What does this do? Baby duck statue. Does it do anything? No, I can just... I can just place it the wrong way around. Okay. Definitely taking my baby duck with me. Right. What's this? Craft bot. Okay. So, this is where... I believe we can build the components for at least the um, the uh, little starting buggy, scrap gas engine. So we need wood, we need circuit boards, we need more metal. Okay, well, let's not do that right now. Oh, it's dark. Okay, let's wait for morning and uh, go and see what else is around nearby before we start crafting the go-kart type deal. And... Um, yeah, we're going to need more materials than what i got, so it kind of makes sense. Right, okay, it's lighting up a bit now. Uh, got 180 wooden blocks from the trees, and just in case I um, couldn't use the footage, as it was quite dark, uh, I'll just quickly chop another one down. So you just whack a tree down with your hammer. Oh, it's too big for the sledgehammer. Okay, I'll do it on this one. And it will start ah, falling down. You can see there are little logs popped out already, but just to show you, break it down. It will split into a section, and then you split the section again. You'll get like half a section and like a 2 by 4 And then you refine them. Oh, it's rolling away. Quick, get the other side, stop it rolling. There we go. And then you refine them down with your little tool. You just hold E, obviously, like it says. And then that just converts them into blocks. So one of them uh, lengths of like two by four, whatever it is, is ten blocks, which is pretty cool. Or you can like pick up these, but you can only like move them about. You can just stand them up. Um, and I think later on you get some sort of refiner, and you can just collect these types of bits of wood and put them in the refiner, and you don't have to stand there holding E then to like refine them. Yeah, that is how you gather wood, just in case I couldn't use the bit of footage from uh, the night time. 
Wait. Am I lost? I'm running the wrong way. Alright, okay. So when we went up this tower, there was a building in the distance. And I'm wondering if it's the workshop. And uh, before I start building the little cart, I would like to, if the workshop's in there, obviously just go straight to the workshop. Because it's going to give us more tools to use. Although that looks more like a warehouse or something, doesn't it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's go have a look. Some sort of ruins over there. Can't seem fast. Oh, there's some uh, more bots over here. So these ones look a lot tougher than the little spiders I was bonking on the head earlier. I don't really want to pull them all at once, just in case uh, they hit me quite hard. I don't know how hard they hit you, obviously. What's this? Okay, I don't think it's the garage. Doesn't look like it. There is a road though. Maybe the road goes to the garage. There's a cow! Oh my god, look at them. Look at the state of that. It's got others on its head. I really do think that um, <laughs> Sunshake, okay, it's a sponsored cow, that you uh, you should have a little hat that you put on them to milk them. <laughs> Just one of them, uh, the suction cups they use for milking cow as a helmet. Look at you. They look pretty cool, actually. I like it. Right. Um, yeah, honey, where was it? There it is. So do I, do I get this with the... Oh, damn. Yeah, you can. Oh, wow. Did the bees attack me? Oh, you can press E to pick stuff up as well, can I? One fact works for everything. Beeswax. Okay. Well, you never know when you might need it, so it's good to have it, right? Alright, let's have a little wander around here. I don't want to leave any loot, of course. Okay, that, that come in from... Whoa! Oh no, I think we've got a few here. Get away! Oh! <gasps> oh! They got me, what? Oh, I drop a loot bag? Alright, spawn back at the spaceship. Oh, there's a little marker. Okay, that's cool. God damn, I wasn't expecting them to hit me so hard. Wow. Oh crap. Oh, is there a loot all button? I only need a quick transfer. Oh no. I'm scared of them now. Okay. I think one on one we're alright. Whoa. I don't even know if it's worth being in here or not. Okay, there's some metal. I could do with the metal. <laughs> Run away. Run away. Oh no, I've made it worse. There's more. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, quick, get under. Where'd I go? I'm not confused. Is this a ramp? It is a ramp. Okay. Oh, it's a ramp to nowhere. Ooh! Oh, we're going to get our parkour game on right now. I'm not good at parkour. Oh, no, I've jumped into one! Oh, there's two of them there. Huh. Oh, there's three of them. Oh my god, there's so many. I need a plan. I need a plan of action. Alright, there's one on its own. Take this one out. Okay, the jumping and hitting's working. Plonking them in the head. They get him? Yes! Okay, he hit me though, that hurt. These two are like twins though, they will not separate. Luke, give me Luke. Oh, they're separated. Quick, get him. I missed. Oh. Oh no, run! Run! <laughs> Damn it. How do I heal? Can I heal with food and stuff? Oh no, I'm running into more. Can I run while I'm... Uh oh. Oh, it does heal you a little bit. Okay. Eating? Is that... Okay, that doesn't heal you. Okay, but the, the shakes do. 
Oh no, they caught me. Quick, get in here. I want that metal. Will that confuse them? Mm, not really. That might. Alright, okay, quick, drink, drink, drink. Oh, it figured it out! Oh, it's not such a stupid robot. Okay, that that's um, looking a bit better. Oh, he was almost dead. Okay. That's handy. He actually drops metal. Let's get a refined. Sweet. So what was that? Like two more, maybe? They're not here right now, though, so that's good. That's cool, then. So the milkshake things actually heal you a little bit. I wonder if we get some actual, like, first aid type kits at some point. Here we go. Okay, cool. How much you got now? 70. Okay. Alright, there's some more crates around, so definitely want them. And I think you get different tiers of crates. I think these green ones are, like, the lowest one. And I think there's different colours. Um, I don't know what the loot table's from. I don't know like what you get in each one, but um, I'm pretty sure there's variations. Oh yeah, I smashed him. He didn't even get me. Eat my hammer. All right. Plop. More metal. And I think there was one up on that little ledge where I failed at my parkour. Oh, it was up here. That's handy. There is a second level there that you can see inside. Mm. Yes! Can I edge around the edge? There we go. Oh, nice! Oh no, I fell down. What is it? Oh, it looks like a scrap wheel. I don't care. I'm not going down there for that. Alright. So there's a lot of metal in here. There's some um, Gasoline or oil, whatever that is. What is it? Yeah, I think it's oil, right? That's some more. Seeds and some food. Another box. Soil. Chemicals. Okay. Any other little hidden gems? There we go, right. And the wheel's still there, that's good. Yeah, I don't know if stuff despawns, but I don't know how long it'll stay there for. Maybe it just stays there until you can collect it. Right, okay, I'm back at the uh, ship now after not being able to find the uh, garage straight away. That's cool, though. Gives us a reason to stick around here a little bit longer. But yeah, so I'll definitely be getting the um, buggy made in the next video. I'm going to leave this one here. But like I said earlier, guys, if you're new to the channel and you like survival gaming, go check out the other content and see what you think. I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot. <laughs> it's a very cool game. Um, first impressions of it are that it's just amazing. The detail of the, the crafting from what I've been shown by my friend is insane and the amount of things you can do is awesome so really looking forward to getting into that I really like the look and the feel of the game I think it's got a really nice feel to it that I don't know that the looks at it there's just something like charming about it there's something that just nice nice to be in this game and playing it um, and yeah just so far it looks brilliant and like I said I can't wait to see what happens throughout the game as we go and um, what happens with the game in general, like what they add to it in the future kind of thing, because this was added much later after they, they um, had the game out originally, because this survival mode is new, and um, there's also the challenge mode, which I want to take a look at, that looks really good fun, um, and it kind of teaches you how to do stuff as well, it gives you like challenges to do, and you like progress through the challenge by completing each one, obviously, and then there's the creative mode where you can mess around and learn how mechanics work and try out different building methods and building different kinds of things. So yeah, really cool overall. 
And like I said, can't wait to get further into it. So I hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I hope this was helpful if you're starting to play as well, like showing you how to at least get the um, this little ship up and running. And we'll be able to craft the um, buggy in the next video. So yeah, stick around, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.